Hi and welcome back. Uh, in the first part, we looked at how we could uh, use a, a XAMPP installation to install things, and uh, we installed WordPress. And uh, I think it's time to look at how WordPress is uh, is uh, running and how it's con how how it's organized on the in on the inside. So. Let's jump back to our site and uh, here we have our site. It looks like this at the moment. I can scroll and I have a post here. The post is called Hello World. The first post, post is always Hello World. And it says up here, Howdy and the username I have. My site is the name of me. I have uh, things. I can post new things and I have comments and I can customize things. And the thing I want to look at now is the here's the name of this of the of the site and we have a dashboard. So let's click the dashboard here. Okay, a quick start on how this works. Uh, within the dashboard, you have you have this dashboard here, and the dashboard contains everything that is in your site. As you can see here. You have uh, all your posts listed here. You have all your media listed there. If you have different pages, you have those. Uh, all the comments, you have appearances, uh, themes, and you can customize things. You have something called widgets. You can handle your menus and handle your head editor and uh, everything about that. Here you have all the installed plugins. We'll get back to that. All the users of your site and some tools you can use. You have also settings where you can set things like uh, general settings and how to write things, how to read things, how discussions works and so on. Uh, the first thing we can do is look at the appearance because maybe just maybe the default template isn't exactly how you would like your site to look like. Let's say that uh, we would like to use a template that looks like this instead. I just press activate on that one. I can even press live preview if I'd like that. And uh, I have now activated the 2016 team all the themes is called 20, well, and that year. If I now go to my site, I have a, I used to have this one active, the 2017 theme. If I now have activated the 2016 theme and uh, visit the site, I have, as you knew, not done anything, but my site is looking like this now. So, Themes is a good place to start. I can do a big bunch of things with different themes. Uh, there is a couple of themes installed to begin with. I can always press the add new button and I'm presented with a big bunch of themes. There is like a hundred thousand different themes you can choose from. You have them categorized here as featured she themes, popular, the latest ones, favorites, and so on. Let's say that, uh, well, the three first here is uh, already installed. Let's say that I'd re I really like, and it's time to just go crazy here. Let's say that I think that this theme looks like, looks nice. I can just press install on that theme. It takes about a half a minute to install a theme and we can look how it, when it's finished installing the theme. God, this is taking forever. Should have taken like half a minute maximum, uh, but it might be a big theme with loads, with lots of pictures and stuff. That's why it's taking so much time and take in my energy. Anyway, there it's done. I can press activate. I've now installed the theme called Mesmerize. And uh, if I want to know 
how this looks like, I can just go to testing and visit site. So this is how my site looks like now. Uh, I have a complete different look on my page. Uh, I have a beginning of a menu here, and this is how my page looks like right now. If we go into the dashboard again, uh, let's dismiss that note because it's just annoying me. If I look at the thing here now, I have changed themes. I can now choose, for example, customize. And this is different from, uh, from every theme to theme. Uh, some themes has uh, support for me to customize this and some has support for 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 this for well some for this and some for that sorry about that anyway so uh, most of the themes can also be upgraded which will give you something you know extra of some sort let's say that we want to look at the navigation stuff we can see and here is a big bunch of things we can change in the navigation area uh, we can always change how menus are looking we have general settings and stuff we can change all kinds of things here so uh, let's publish these changes i've made whatever they are or whatever changes i did make can't really remember anyway doesn't doesn't matter uh, my site is looking like this at the moment uh, let's say I want to write something. Let's say I want to write a new post. Uh, for for starters, the the WordPress is uh, more or less used as a uh, as a blogging tool. The, it had it is it has its roots within the blogging environment. Nowadays, you can do uh, all kinds of stuff with uh, WordPress, but uh, blogging is uh, where it started. Uh, let's talk about today will be my misspelled title here. Uh, today, uh, this and that happened. And I can just keep on going and going and going and talk about all the things that happened today. Uh, anyway, uh, let's say that I'm happy with this uh, thing, this post I've done. I can press publish on that post. And uh, after it's published, I can press view post. And let's say here, let's talk about today. And uh, here is a post I've just made. I The, the person made it was uh, my site and it's... Uh, in the category called uncategorized. So let's say that we return to the dashboard again uh, and let's have a look at another thing. I can make new posts and new pages and stuff. I can also make new pages. So the, the post is a thing that is generally categorized by when it was made so the time is of importance there uh, wordpress is sorting all the posts uh, depending on when they were posted pages are not it doesn't matter when a page is made a page is you know a page let's add a new page here and uh, this page is uh, about my hobbies and uh, this is all about my hobbies. Okay, let's publish that page. But before we publish it, we can even see some of the attributes here. If this page has a parent, I can choose which page is the, is the parent. If I want to have it laid out in some manner, depending on the theme, of course, uh, I can have a default template, a front page template, page with a sidebar on the left or on the right. This is up to the template, the, the theme I have chosen for my website, this theme called 
something on M, I would guess. This theme has support for these four different templates. Uh, it has also support for a featured image, which, which is an image I can choose and have displayed somewhere. Anyway, uh, I have made a new page called Hobby, and this is all about my hobbies. So let's let's publish that one. And I can look at the page. And here's my page about my hobbies. What you can see here, if you're looking really careful, that we do have a sample page and we have our new page called Hobby. Uh, let's return to the starting point of this site. Uh, I have now something called here. Here is my posts. I did it just a minute ago. Uh, the big square here is the featured image I was talking about. So if I would like to, I can have a post and the post can have a featured image set. And uh, this is where the featured image would appear. I have a new page here called Hobby. And without me doing anything, the page jumped up here. So I have the standard sample page looking like this. This is something that was in the WordPress when I got it. And I have my new page called Hobby. So this is all about my hobby. Let's add a new page. Uh, and I'm a big fan of uh, ice hockey. So uh, I'm a big fan of ice Okay, I'm spelling like crazy, I know that. Anyway, let's take the parent here. This page is having a parent, and the parent this page has is hobby, because I, I have like hobby, and I have all my hobbies underneath that. So the parent of this ice hockey page is hobby, and let's publish that. Let's add a new page. And the new page we are going to add, let's call that football. Uh, football is kinda boring. And this is also a hobby of mine. So I press the hobby parent and publish this page. Now let's go back to the site. And we see over here that the hobby has two categories. We have football and we have ice hockey. If we press the ice hockey button, we'll have stuff about ice hockey. And if I press football instead, I'll have football kind of stuff there. So this is a testing point for what we can do. We can publish pages and we can publish posts. And the difference between pages and posts are uh, mostly that pages will go up in the menu and uh, can contain stuff and post is something that is uh, sorted by which date they are uh, printed. We also have a big bunch of things within the plugins area. So if I class press plugins, I have two plugins installed. Plugins is things that somehow adds functionality to the page. If themes adds looks, then we use plugins to add functionality. Uh, in the same manner as with the uh, themes, I can press uh, add new. And here I have a big bunch of themes. We have uh, like a hundred thousand different themes, uh, sorry, about a hundred thousand different plugins. If I want to use like the WooCommerce plugin, which is a very good plugin, it's, it's actually a web shop. It's a complete web shop with payment and everything. And it's uh, delivered as a plugin. So imagine how big a thing a plugin can be. Uh, you have like Facebook plugins and you have comments plugins. You have you have everything everything you need as a plugin. If you would like if you would like uh, like an image slider on top, there is a big 
bunch of image sliders we can uh, insert. Let's say that we want to have like the master slider. If you want to have that plugin, we can just press the install now button. Well, let's press the install now button. And now we are installing the master slider responsive touch slider short name for a cool thing i really hope i've never seen that plugin before there are as i said about a hundred and thousand different plugins so uh, i haven't seen them all i haven't seen a percentage of them anyway we see that the master slider plugin here is uh, have a bluish background so that's why we know that this plugin is activated it's running uh, if I press settings on this plugin, I guess that I would get some things uh, concerning this plugin. Let's have advanced settings. I have a pro version if I would like that. There are lots of pro versions around here now. Let's say that this uh, slider does everything I need and more. So um, if I press the master slider, uh, Mm, there is some ah there is some enormous pop up there get away get away anyway <laughs> this is my master slider uh this plugins i was just installing all the plugins has a uh, meaning different kinds of meaning uh this is the uh, the appearance widgets section of this particular theme I'm using now. Uh, I see here all the different uh, kinds of widgets that are available. And I have here sidebar areas. A sidebar area, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five sidebar areas. Sidebar areas are places on the the website let's say boxes it's boxes on the website and on these boxes i can drag and drop and put something i would like to uh, let's say that we have search recent posts and recent comments and stuff and uh, meta which is uh, login and log out and stuff let's say i want to have the meta on top before the search, I just drag and drop, and let's look at the website. We see now that the meta is on top. Before the search button, uh, I can, I can, I can customize anything here. If I would like to have a text box, uh, let's say there is a text box, I can just drag this text box up to, let's say under the meta and i will say that the title of this is uh, hello and uh, this is just a bunch of text and let's save that one saving 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 and now i can press to close that one and let's return to the site under the meta will have a new one called hello and a bunch of text there so all these boxes the meta box the hello box the search box the recent post box all of these are plugins uh, this plugins is uh, something that will give you functionality of some sort and uh, you have themes themes will give you looks and you have plugins and widgets which will give you functionality widgets are things you can drag and drop on a sidebar place on the web server and plugins in plugins is something that will give you functionality um, all widgets are plugins but uh, not all plugins are widgets if you catch my drift because you have this plugins plugins are plugins are everything that gives you some sort of functionality and some of the some of the uh, plugins is so called widget plugins and widget plugins is things that will 
give you uh, something visible, something you can drag and drop onto a sideboard area and uh, and look at. So if we if we get bored on the theme we have now, we can just push back to the theme and add another theme and so on. And uh, let's uh, look at the latest. No, let's look at the popular. So here are lots of popular themes. Let's say that we get bored of this uh, we used to have and uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. And um, let's say that we think that uh, this this theme called VT blogging, that VT blogging is uh, something that looks about right. Uh, whenever I make a website, uh, whenever you make a website, you have to have like an idea of what you want to make, of course. And uh, when that idea is done, you can find a a uh, theme that looks well, just about right. Um, if it's not all what you wanted, if you if you have some theme that is that looks like almost right you can always go in and change the things you want to change there are different techniques of changing you can uh, the best thing you can do is uh, create a so-called child theme but that's beyond the scope right now so what you want to do is uh, choose a theme that you like choose a theme that looks as much as possible as the thing you want to deliver and uh, when you have this thing you want to deliver uh, and it looks just about right then you're just about done uh, i have another theme called the uh, vt blogging here and uh, let's jump back to the site and uh, look well this is how this theme looks like uh, as you can see the meta part is still on top the hello text box which i just created is located there above the search button it doesn't matter at all what theme i have the theme is completely disconnected from how it things looks like so even if i change themes i still have the order that i want to this theme however doesn't have a menu so if i want to i can press the button here to add a primary menu, I can also in my dashboard click appearance and menus. Here I have a bunch of things that I can use as a menu. I have my hobby and here I can drag and drop and drag football and ice hockey. So they are underneath hobby. Let's say that I don't want to have the sample page. I can just remove that thing and now I have the menu structure that will work so I'll click on the create menu there and uh, I'll click on the save menu so now I have a menu and let's look at the site how it looks now well no menu where's my menu oh I forgot to add it as a primary menu as I said different different uh, different themes has this different perspectives uh, they they look at things differently so uh, best thing you can do is find a theme that you think works uh, well as good as could have been expected let's find a theme that you really like that you can live with and uh, start digging so uh, please now continue to look at all the settings you have on your brand new wordpress site and uh, look at all the things you can do try out a bunch of theme try out some plugins try to add a image slider try to have a full page background on a theme for a starting page and so on uh, go explore just go explore it's it's really fun when you when you get the hang of it so go on work.